Hey, welcome back. My name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. So let's say you just finished building a project out of Purple Heart, and now you're wondering, how do I finish it to best preserve that color? So here's my recommendation is that you apply a couple coats of de-wax shellac, and then follow that up with at least three to four coats of this water-based finish. This combination really enriches that natural color, and it preserves it the longest. So I made these two knife blocks to show you how this goes. I prepped these knife blocks by just sanding them to 220 grit, and then I left them out to absorb some natural UV light to help revive the color. But check out how bland the color comes out right after sanding. So this is what happens when you cut, plane, or sand this wood, is that you remove some color. The deal with Purple Heart is that the color comes from oxidization. So the first tip here is if after you sand your project, it's looking a little too bland, just put it out where it can absorb some natural UV light and that will revive the purple color for you. So when I apply shellac, I like to mix it up in a jar like this with a little bit of mineral spirits, like maybe 10% or so. And that just makes it really easy to apply with a cotton rag balled up into a pad. This is a really clear finish that provides just a kiss of color, unlike oil finishes that will over darken the wood. I wipe it on and leave it alone until it's dry enough for the next step. When I go to remove the imperfections from a coat of shellac, usually I'm gonna grab one of these synthetic finishing pads. I'll try that first. If I feel like that's just taking too long or I just got streaks and things that just aren't gonna come out very well with that, that's when I just go grab a rag and denatured alcohol and just rub it down. And the denatured alcohol melts the shellac, so to speak, and helps it smooth out really nicely. So that's what I'm doing here. You're watching me just work out the imperfections with a rag, dampen down a little bit with some denatured alcohol, just removing the imperfections. It is possible to overdo it and just remove too much shellac, but that's why I do two or three coats of this. So a couple of quick notes about this finish. First of all, the name is just a mouthful. High performance water-based top coat by General Finishes. But this is a great finish for Purple Art because it dries crystal clear, it doesn't amber over time, plus it's got ultraviolet blocking qualities to it, so it's a really nice choice. It's just gonna make the color look really vibrant for a long time. And now some tips for using this finish are you wanna use a foam brush and apply it in heavy, wet coats and then overlap each pass with the brush, and then don't worry a whole lot about the streaks or the brush marks. You wanna resist the urge to do a lot of brushing back and forth. You're gonna get just a much better result if you lay down a nice wet pass and just let it do its thing. It's gonna self-level all by itself in about 20 minutes. So on the second knife block, I'm applying the water-based finish just straight to the bare wood, no de-wax shellac this time. That way you can see the difference it makes. Either way, it's totally acceptable. They both make the color look really nice. I just figured you'd like to see the difference between the two of them. Lastly, I recommend that you apply a bare minimum of three to four coats of this finish because this is your protection for keeping the color. All right, so there's your quick answer for how to get really great color out of Purple Heart. That's it. Boom. Is that true? No. Okay, so oil finishes like tongue oil, teak oil, boiled linseed oil, yeah, wax oil finishes like Udi's oil and things like that. There's probably a hundred other brands as well, but they are really popular for woodworkers because they're really crazy easy to use, and they just make wood look beautiful. They, they, they soak into the wood, saturate the fibers, and just bring out some nice warmth in the wood. The, but on Purple Heart, I have a hard time recommending oils because they just go on, they, they become like too dark for Purple Heart, in my opinion. So I have a hard time recommending oils. So if you research this online, you will discover there are other suggestions for reviving the color of Purple Heart. And one of those ways is to apply heat. 
Um, some suggestions are that you can take your project and put it in your oven, crank it to 200 degrees or so, and that would revive the color. But I can't say I would recommend that. It just seems sketchy to put wood in the oven. Uh, not interested in that. But uh, another method is that you could use a handheld heat gun instead. And that's a nice controlled way to apply heat. And it really does work. In like 20 or 30 minutes, the purple will come right back. But there's a, there's a couple of risks that you run with doing that. I mean, just in general, applying high heat to wood is just is going to encourage it to move around and to, and to really and shrink on that one side, which means it could cup, it could twist, something like that. Um, there's also the risk that you could overdo it. You could char the wood in spots that you really didn't intend to do that to. And there's al always the risk of applying too much heat to your glue joint because that will compromise it. So you don't want to do that, but it's a handheld heat gun. It's a pretty controlled experiment that you could do. Uh, another thing that you might encounter is the idea of using household vinegar. Sure. So I took this board and applied that, applied like an industrial strength vinegar to it, just sanded it, applied vinegar over here and just left this one sanded. Here's how it looks today uh, after just sitting there for a couple of days. So it didn't see, it looks the same in my opinion. Um, the vinegar did darken the wood right away, but about two days later, this side looked like this. It looks identical. So I just don't feel like vinegar brought enough to the table to make that a really good suggestion. Plus, vinegar is mostly water, you know, so it raised the grain. And, you know, in order to get a nice finish on this side, I would have to sand it down again and potentially remove, remove the color that I added to it. So it's like, man, I don't know if I could suggest that. So... I am still a fan of just taking my project and putting it in a place where it's going to get a lot of UV light for a couple of days. It's that's cheap to do. It takes no effort. It's low brow enough. It's just simple. That's my recommendation. So now you've got everything you need to know to build yourself a gorgeous project out of Purple Heart. But you know the drill from here. If you got more questions, just post them below. Have your people contact my people. Either one of those works. But my name is Mark. I'm from Woodworker Source. We've got three stores in Arizona, plus a great website that you can visit. So we'd love to help you out. So come see us. With that, see you on the next one. Thanks.